What is a no contest clause? That is also called in Latin, and I'm sure I'm not gonna pronounce this correctly, ad terrarium clause. Lawyers love to throw in Latin, by the way. What it means is that if somebody who is inheriting from you complains about the inheritance and says, you know, mom said I'm only gonna get one third, I should get one half. If they make that assertion or anything else, any other assertion that attacks your will, then they get nothing. And the idea obviously for this no contest clause is that people will not complain about what they're getting or in any way attack the validity of your will. To be effective, there has to be some leverage. The person has to give up something if they complain. So in my example, I said that the kid gets one third. They complain, they're gonna lose that one third. They've got something to give up. If instead you say, well, I want a no contest clause, and I think that that should protect the integrity of my will, from this child I've disinherited. No, it won't. The child has been disinherited. They have nothing to give up. If they attack it, they're actually could be incentivized to attack the will and say that there was undue influence in its making and that's why they are disinherited. So don't believe that just having a no contest clause is a fix all for, um, you know, keeping people from attacking your will. If you really want to make sure that this disfavored child doesn't attack your will, one of the things is, is you put some money into it. You say, disfavored child, you inherit 10,000, 20,000 or whatever, and the other kids divide whatever the rest of the estate is. And if they were to attack it, then they're gonna give up their 10,000 or their 20,000. So a more effective way to make sure that the no contest clause does its job so people don't attack your will is to incentivize that person, that disfavored person, by giving them that money. I know that that sounds all backwards. Part of estate planning is making sure you understand how things work and what's the best way to set up your estate plan to make, so to avoid unnecessary uh, disagreements and fights among your family and those who inherit from you. All of that is accomplished through speaking to an estate planning lawyer, an elder law attorney who has seen your situation before, something very close to it, and knows the best strategies to put into place to make sure your estate plan works as you want it to. Never say this disfavored child gets one dollar. That doesn't help and in fact it makes things worse. Why? Because once you tell, once you say in your will that somebody gets something, they have all sorts of rights now to ask about the will, ask about the inventory, to give the personal representative a hard time. So saying that they get a dollar is a terrible idea. If you want to disinherit them, you want to give them no money at all, say, I make no provision for Bobby. And then Bobby gets nothing. In the past, I've had a situation where it was an old will drafted by <clears throat> another firm a long time ago, and it says, I give Bobby a dollar. Well, Bobby has since died. So who gets it? It was what we call per stirpes, which means it goes down to Bobby's kids, and Bobby had four kids. So the personal representative had to give notice to these four kids and then provide them each a quarter, 25 cents because that's what the will said. So that's just one example of why it's just a bad idea to say, uh, I provide a dollar to anybody.